hello guys and welcome to the channel hoping that you are all good so it's more problems for a morocco swallows player td sopachi who was seen playing in kasi games imagine uh, you refuse to play for the team that you signed a contract with which is morocco swallows and then after a week or so you are then seen playing kasi football like what um, Morocco Solos had to cancel image here, Santos, image here, your golden arrows, and they're still going to be fined or punished or sanctioned for that. And then the players who were refusing to play, one of them is now playing a gas. So this means it's going to get a double punishment. She's going to get punished for the strike. I think they did a strike for not wanting to play the matches and also for playing a uh, gas football. You know, uh, the club chairman, David Mohashwa, said with what Pachi did is very unacceptable because his contract does not allow him to play social matches because if he gets an injury, then it will be the duty of the club to look after him. And if not, they are then seen as bad people. And uh, before I even quote what the chairman said, I think it's correct. It's correct. Spot on. Very much unprofessional for a soccer player. To go and play Kasi football. There's nothing wrong about it. But if you're playing for a professional team and you signed a contract, then you need to, you know, play for that team. You can't now because it's holidays and then you go and play for another team. And it makes uh, to play a Kasi rather. And it makes it worse the fact that you refused to play last week. And then now all of a sudden you are, you are able to play a Kasi. So what happens if you get injured? How do you not want to play against Sundowns and you are playing a, a Kasi tournament? This is what Mohashwa is asking. He is going to be charged for that. There is no other way. He is going to be charged. That's what the chairman said. So like I said, it means he will be charged twice. You know, first is because they refuse to play the matches, you know, against Sundowns and Arrows and, and also playing the Kasi match, you know, which is wrong. You know so yeah man um i hope Uti, he learns from this they need to punish him so that they teach others it's very wrong you don't do this you don't do this as a professional player you know so yeah like i already said swallows have been charged right and yeah we will see what punishment they're gonna get uh i think what's in 16 what's in it? Ah, i forgot the date i think they said the 11th i don't remember the date i don't even want to lie but yeah the 11th of january yes um the the psl prosecutor zola machavo you know uh they are going to be fined it is a monetary fine expected you know to form part of this punishment and we don't know about the points i think they're gonna give sundowns the points because unlike unlike golden arrows who were told uh, before and they didn't even travel to the venue sundowns were told i think it was during the day and they already traveled and they were prepared and everything so i think according to the rules sundowns honored the fixture and then swallows didn't so i think sundowns will get three points there i don't know we will see uh, which decision will be taken